Now, being a parent, I know how quickly time flies. I mean, one minute you are literally holding a baby in your hands, and the next they are grown-up little humans with personalities and attitudes. Now, my two boys are grown up by now. They are running around the studio somewhere, but I remember how daunting it was to start the weaning process, especially being a first-time parent. Now, fortunately for all of you new parents out there, there's help on hand to guide you through the whole weaning stages of your baby's development. And today, we are joined by co-authors of Weaning Sense, pediatric dietitian Kath, uh, Kath McGaw, and uh, occupational therapist Meg Farre. Ladies, thank you very much. Lovely to see you again. Yeah, lovely nice to, to see you. Yeah, lovely. So, look, the book has been doing phenomenally. What has been re the, the response uh, so far from, from newbie parents? Yeah. No, it's been amazing. I mean, the social media, we're getting all these little photographs of babies holding the book for the first time. Um, and we were in the top 10 of the cookery bestseller list for many, many weeks in Fantastic. a row. So we've, we've really been blown away by yeah. the reception. That's yeah. amazing. Now we, now we are talking about weaning and in your book, obviously, you unpack it, the different stages. Mm -hmm. but, but let's define it. What exactly does the word weaning mean? Well, weaning, it's really the introduction of complementary foods in, in the essence of the book. So mm. it's not about removing milk out of the diet. It's really adding foods now to a milk-based diet and starting the journey towards a solid diet. Okay, so just start, starting that transition Correct. right there. And Absolutely. of course, there's, there's, there's big questions, you know, around what is the best time to go about this. I mean, this is the one thing that I think freaked myself and my wife out when we got <laughs> to those stages as well. But another interesting thing in the book that you guys unpack quite, um, <clears throat> you know, in detail is collab weaning. What on earth is collab weaning? Yeah. Because I, it seems like I've missed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, as you said, there was so much controversy around how to wean and when to wean. Yeah. And so Kath and I, we love to make things very simple. And we decided that using an acronym collab, um, and collab kind of speaks to the collaboration between the mother and the baby, but it is also an acronym for the way in which we like parents to introduce um, foods. And so each letter of the word collab stands for one of the, one of the letters. So for instance, C stands for cues. A, uh, o stands for um, own personality, L stands for led by science, A for age appropriate, and B for baby friendly. So those, that's wow. what Colab stands for, and if parents follow that, they can introduce solids quite easily. Okay, so that's a bit of a, <coughs> I'm going to say, like a like a, like a step-by-step -step guide mm, showing them exactly, because it's daunting. It's yeah. really, really daunting. Mm. Can my baby eat this? Can he not? Mm. Will he be okay? What will he mm. do? What, how will he react to the foods as well? But I think another big question that a, peop a lot of people might have, um, you know, once you have now determined the right stage or right age where you're going to start mm. weaning your baby, is the basic equipment that you need mm -hmm. because now the foods change you need things to prepare certain foods so mm -hmm. in your experience what are some of the basic kind of essentials I think um, <clears throat> what's really is you don't need a whole lot I think that's first important it doesn't have to be a super expensive exercise yeah. but you do need something to grind or blend up the food because initially you are going to start with foods that are fairly mushed and pureed and um, then you're going to also just need <laughs> basic stuff like your normal equipment you'd find in the kitchen, your steamer, perhaps because we do encourage steaming. Yes. Um, you can use um, your oven as well, so a nice clean oven tray maybe for those early stages of, of roasting yeah. some nice veggies that give lovely flavor. Um, and then your basic, I think these spatulas work wonderfully as well. You know, <laughs> yeah. generally spatulas are just helpful when it comes to pureed foods. A whisk, yeah. a masher, potato masher is also very helpful. A peeler, yeah. um, just those basic things and a good knife. And, and, and what's great is, I mean, those things are unpacked in the book as well. I'm sure that you yeah. can also find all Absolutely. of the kind of <clears throat> direct the pointers where you need to go. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this morning. And once again, well done on that book. Okay. Uh, definitely you. something that every parent should be getting. Uh, but Meg and Kath will be back next week to share more knowledge on weaning. And if you have any questions, you can call in live next week or leave your questions under the baby bullet post on our Facebook page. It is as easy as that. Now, we do have a bit of a competition as well. We have the wonderful baby bullet with us as well. And for your chance to win your very own baby bullet as well as a copy of Weaning Sense, all you have to do is let us know what first meal would you make with your baby bullet. It's as easy as that. Then post a picture of you and your baby on our Facebook page using the hashtag baby business in uh, your entry as well. T's and C's can be found on our website, Expresso Show.